A pressure dense phase conveying system utilizes low airflow and high pressure and conveys at velocities of 250 to 2500 feet per minute. It is a gentle way to convey products where degradation is a concern, such as infant formula, nutritional powders, agglomerated and instantized powders, and other powders. The process begins with compressed air available in a surge tank. All air control valves are closed. The inlet valve is open so that the product can fill the pressure vessel. Displaced air vents back to the surge hopper above. When the high-level probe in the pressure vessel is covered, the inlet valve and vent valve will close. Compressed air is regulated into the top of the pressure vessel. Once the design pressure is reached, the discharge valve is open and compressed air continues to be regulated into the top of the pressure vessel and through the fluidizers to promote efficient discharge. Convey pressure is monitored. Boosters inject compressed air into the convey line, if required. The product is pneumatically conveyed in a dense phase state and collected in the destination bin. Product is separated from convey air through filter bags. Reverse pulse cleaning keeps the filter bag running at maximum efficiency and clean air is exhausted through the filter. When the product uncovers the lower level probe in the pressure vessel, the discharge valve and air control valves are closed. Product in the convey line stops. To bring the pressure vessel back to atmospheric pressure, the vent valve is open, releasing the remaining vessel pressure into the surge hopper above. The process then starts over, filling, pressurizing, conveying, and venting until the product feed stops or the destination bin is full. Once the product feed stops, the system is ready to be empty. The inlet valve, vent valve, and discharge valve are closed. The pressure vessel is pressurized to a high pressure. The discharge valve is open. Compressed air continues into the top of the pressure vessel, fluidizers, and boosters to convey the remaining product through the system. During purging, the product is moving in a dilute phase manner. This cycle may need to be repeated to completely purge the system empty. When the purge cycle is completed, the inlet and discharge valves and air control valves are closed. The vent valve is open to equalize the system.